Alright, what is up guys? Brian here and this is my WWE Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view event recap and thoughts on this uh, pay-per-view or this event I should say. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, what a show, in my opinion, what a show it was. Uh, a couple of good matches. Uh, we started off with the kickoff show. It was Neville, the Cruiserweight Champion, defending against Akira Tozawa uh, with Titus O'Neil in his corner. Uh, I thought this one was actually pretty good. Uh, the ending um, uh, of the match came when uh, Tozawa was going after Neville in the corner. He ran at him. Neville uh, flipped him over the rope, flipped him over, and he, he kind of straddled the top rope. Um, Tozawa did. Then Neville, while the referee was checking on Tozawa, kicked the, the, the rope kind of like a low blow kind of deal. Uh, and then would um, Tozawa would get up. Neville would hit a kick to the gut. Uh, Tozawa would fall down. And Neville would pin Tozawa in the middle of the ring to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, that was on the kickoff show. Um, and like I said, what was a pretty good match. Um, then we move on to the show itself, the main show. Uh, we had Bray Wyatt going one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins. Uh, this has been a feud that's been building for weeks. Um, and this was actually a, a very, you know, a decent matchup between both guys. You know, both of these guys looking for a big win. Um, I believe I said in my predictions that I hoped Bray Wyatt would win, uh, which he did. However, it was because of some dirty tactics. Uh, Bray Wyatt was outside the ring. Uh, Austin, um, Seth Rollins went after him. Was beat. Was hitting on him. The referee was trying to break. Was trying to get Seth Rollins out, uh, away. Bray Wyatt would poke Seth Rollins in the eye and then would hit Sister Abigail to score the win. So a big win for Bray Wyatt um, and a much needed win for Bray Wyatt coming out of tonight's uh, Great Balls of Fire. Uh, we had the battle of former tag team partners as Enzo Amore took on Big Cass. Uh, before the match, Enzo delivered it, one of his uh, most promising promos before the match. However, uh, what he said about the that song, That's Life, um... Pretty much did not turn out very well. This matchup did not turn out very well for Enzo. As Big Cass would insert his dominance. And literally. And and he would beat Enzo Amore. Uh, at Great Balls of Fire tonight. After hitting a big boot. Uh, also during the match. He also uh, uh, picked up Enzo Amore. Like he did on Raw. But this time he threw him out of the ring. And that was pretty much, pretty much it. After that big boot, and one, two, three, big cast, your victor at Great Balls of Fire. Uh, we had the 30-minute uh, Iron Man match for the Raw Tag Team Titles, and this one is a match I would recommend checking out. Um, it was Sheamus and Cesaro taking on the Hardys. Uh, of course, Sheamus and Cesaro defending the Raw Tag Team titles against the Hardys in this matchup. Uh, right out of the box, like in the first 30 seconds, Sheamus and Cesaro scored the first fall. They would then go on to score a second fall um, a little bit later. Then the Hardys a little bit later would score a second fall, or a fir their, fir their first fall. Then uh, the Hardys would uh, once again score another fall. It would end up being tied 3-3, three to three, and in the last 37 seconds of the match, uh, Jeff Hardy would hit a swanton bomb on Sheamus, but then not realized that Cesaro uh, was the legal man. Cesaro would jump in the ring, pin uh, Jeff Hardy, and that would give uh, Cesaro and Sheamus a 4-3 to three lead, which they would win with in, the, um, in this um, Iron Man tag team matchup. Uh, so, Sheamus and Cesaro, still the Raw Tag Team Champions. Uh, what's going to be next for this team? 
uh, for both of these teams, I should say, uh, as going into the future, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we had Sasha, Sasha Banks challenging Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's title. This one was actually pretty good as well. Um, of course, Alexa uh, wanting to keep her title by any way she can. Sasha wanting to win the title back for a fourth time. Uh, one point during this matchup, uh, Alexa Bliss kind of did something like like scary. She um, she made people think that she hurt her arm. The she was like like it was looked like it was out of place, and then and people were like, "Man, what happened? You know, what happened to her arm?" And but it was all a ruse as she would pop it back into place, and she would hit Sasha Banks and knock her down. Uh, the ending. Uh, finish uh, came when uh, Alexa was on the outside of the ring. Uh, she would s and Sasha, yeah, Alexa was on the outside of the ring. Sasha would try to get her back in the ring. Alexa would turn around and slap her, knock her down, and then she would stay outside the ring while the referee counted to ten. So Alexa Bliss got counted out. Thus, Sasha Banks wins the match. However, she does not win the Raw Women's Title. Afterwards, Sa Sasha would go after Alexa. They would end up by the commentary table. Alexa would try to DDT uh, Sasha. Sasha would throw would, would throw Alexa off, and that would hit that uh, jumping knee uh, drop that she does, and that would pretty much be it. Uh, so obviously, this feud is not as far from over. Um, and so obviously, you know, you know what's going to be next for these two uh, going in uh, in a match that um, in a match that I hope is the end of this feud. It was the Miz defending the Intercontinental Championship against Dean Ambrose. Um, this was actually pretty good. I'm like I said, I hopefully this is the last time we see these two fight for a while. Um, it was for the Intercontinental title. Miz, of course, had Maurice, Bo Dallas, and Curtis Axel at ringside with him. I was kind of hoping that uh, maybe Heath Slater and Rhino would come out to help uh, Dean Ambrose, but that was not the case. Uh, and the Miz Taraj and Maurice would pay dividends for the Miz as he would uh, hit the skull crushing finale after Bo Dallas hit Dean Ambrose in the back um, and would retain the Intercontinental Championship um, over Dean Ambrose, uh, that being The Miz. Uh, we had uh, in what was a unbelievable ambulance match, it was Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns. This one was very physical. They would fight in. They were fighting in the ring. They were fighting up there on the ramp. Uh, Sh Roman would wind up throwing Strowman through the uh, the um, entrance uh, thing, the stage area entrance of the LED light state they have. You know the the way they have their stage set up. He would throw what throw him right through it. Um, both men, you know, both these guys trying to put each other. The other one in through the in the ambulance. Uh, Reigns, however, would make a mistake, and he would wind up losing this match because he would go to try to hit a spear on on Strowman, but Strowman moved out of the way. Roman dove into the ambulance, and that was enough for Strowman to close the ambulance doors and win this match. Uh, afterwards, uh, Roman would get out of the ambulance. They, him and Strowman would fight again. He, Strowman would then end up. Uh, Braun Strowman would end up being uh, put into the ambulance. Uh, Roman Reigns would get into the ambulance. Uh, the driver's side of the ambulance would drive the ambulance all the way to the back of the uh, the uh, garage area. Would then stop, and then would back, uh, really fast, uh, back the uh, ambulance into the into the. Uh, front of one of the production trucks that they have, or the semi trucks they have set up outside, uh, and that was uh, that was a pretty scary scene. 
uh, Roman Reigns driving that or re putting the ambulance in reverse and really fast backing the into the uh, backing the ambulance into the uh, semi. Uh, the fire department would had to be called in to uh, to, uh, to break, get the jaws of life because they couldn't get the uh, the doors open of the ambulance. Uh, and then when they finally did, they tried to get Braun Strowman onto a stretcher, but he pushed him away. Put and and as unbelievable as it sounds, would actually walk would actually walk away on his own accord and limp away. So obviously, I mean, what are you gonna? What can you do to keep this guy down? So, uh, you know. What's gonna happen tomorrow night on Raw? You know, I obviously this whole you know this probably is, is gonna be the end of this feud for a while, but you know, Strowman showed how tough he is. I mean, you you could that you back an ambulance inside of and and you hit it, ram it into a semi, and that won't keep him down. I don't think anything will. So, uh, but moving on, uh, we had a bit of an added match. It was Heath Slater versus Kurt Hawkins. Uh, Heath Slater picked up this, picked up the win in this one because mainly their attention was to Braun Strowman and his uh, health and well-being. Um, and then we had the main event. It was Samoa Joe challenging for the Universal Title against Brock Lesnar. Uh, this one was a, um, not long, but it was not short either. Uh, Samoa Joe, right out of the gate before the match even started, attacked Brock Lesnar, th uh, dropped him through a table, the announce table, I should say. Then, um, but even that was not enough. Even he tried to apply the Coquina clutch. He got it in on a couple times, but Brock Lesnar, showing being a beast, you know, would hit Ger would hit German suplexes. And then would hit an F5 after countering or getting out of the Coquina Clutch and hit a F5 on Samoa Joe to score the win and retain the Universal title. Um, so that was pretty much it for that. Um, my thoughts, my overall thoughts on the pay-per-view Great Balls of Fire. I actually thought it was a, I actually thought it was a pretty good show. If you guys watched it, uh, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Um, like I said, I thought there was a couple of good matches. The Hardys, Cesaro, and Sheamus match, I would recommend checking out. Uh, but overall, I thought the show was actually pretty good. So, with that being said, this has been my, um, my recap of what took place at Great Balls of Fire. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.